Miss James's fifth grade reading class presents Hatchet by Gary Paulson. Brian Robeson is on his way to Canada to see his dad. Brian's parents are newly divorced. Brian's mom gives him a hatchet as a gift before he boards the plane. Brian rides in a single engine plane with a pilot. The pilot has a heart attack. Brian has no choice but to fly the plane. He is very frightened and is pretty sure the pilot is dead. Brian makes radio contact for a few seconds and keeps trying every 10 minutes. The plane runs out of gas. The plane is going down. The plane crashed in the lake. Brian almost drowned. He got to shore and passed out. Brian is injured in a lot of pain. Hordes of insects are unbelievable to Brian. Brian is beginning to notice his new environment. Brian drinks a lot of water. Brian gets sick, but feels better and clearer. Remembers Mr. Perfect, his teacher, and how he taught him to be positive and stay positive. He checked the contents of his pockets. He knows he needs to get motivated. Remembering survival shows, Brian gets very hungry. He follows birds to the bears. He eats a lot. Brian begins building his shelter. His stomach begins to act funny. Horrible pain from gut cherries. Brian gets sick. Brian finds raspberries and a bear. Brian wakes up in his shelter with an intruder inside. A porcupine embeds eight quills into Brian's calf. Brian throws his hatchet and creates sparks. Brian builds a fire after a lot of trial and error. Brian now has a friend named Fire. Brian realizes the many advantages of fire, warmth, safety, and mosquito repellent. Brian hears a noise and finds that a turtle has laid several eggs. Brian eats six and saves the rest for later. Brian does chores, cleaning camp, collecting wood, preparing for a signal fire. Brian sees himself as changing, both physically and mentally. Brian sees a kingfisher bird catch a fish. Brian gets an idea. Brian is trying to fish using a homemade spear. It is not working. He decides he must invent a bow and arrow. Brian almost steps on a bird. He hears a plane, tries to signal the plane with fire. The plane flies off. Brian loses all hope. Remembering. Several weeks have gone by since the plane flew by. Brian remembers the good and bad that have gotten him to this point. Brian makes a bow and arrow and can now catch and eat fish. Remembering. Being sprayed by skunk. Rebuilding shelter. Making an enclosure for fish. Brian is thinking ahead. First meet. Brian figures out he is looking wrong for the full birds. Once he starts looking for their shape, he is able to kill and eat one. When he cooks and eats the bird, he decides nothing he has ever eaten has tasted that good. As Brian is hunting full birds, he is attacked by a moose. The moose injures him. He goes back to his camp to sleep, thinking how insane the moose attack was. Brian is awakened by a noise, and then the tornado hits and destroys everything he has done and injures him more. Brian goes back to sleep, hoping the tornado hit the moose. When he wakes up, he discovers the tail of the plane is now visible in the lake. As Brian is going to sleep, he thinks about the plane and the survival pack inside. Brian decides he needs to build a raft to get him out to the plane for the survival pack. Brian uses his raft and gets to the plane, but then doesn't know how he will get into the plane. Brian 
discovered he could use the hatchet to make a hole in the plane. He dropped the hatchet in the water. After many tries, he gets the hatchet back. He gets in the plane to get the survival pack and comes across what is left of the pilot and realizes he has been eating the fish that have been eating the pilot. He returns to land with the survival pack. Cooking himself a feast, a plane landed and he was rescued.